In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to host a React application online. Now, so far, we have built this simple application here, which we found from Dribble. And if you wanted to see how the application works, you can run npm run dev, which runs a development server on localhost 5174, which is this here. But what if I wanted to share this application with a friend? What I can simply do here is to host this application online, which would have a URL, my website dot whatever.com and then they can easily view that from their browser be it their phone or their laptops and that's what i'm going to show you how to do here now before we host this application i want you to understand a few things here is my package.json file in this package.json we have been using npm run dev and this runs vit which runs the development server this development server would run all the code necessary for the development of our application but there's another version of our application called the production version and you get this version when you run npm run build this is going to create a dist folder so let me delete this i already ran it previously now if i run npm run build you can see we have this dist folder see the information here says building for production now this dist folder is going to contain all the code necessary for the production version of our application or of our website this production version is what you would host and this is what users can see from their browser and we can also run the production version right here so if i run npm run preview this is going to be for the production version and this is the url here so if i go to a new tab and i open this this is the production version of our website and to show you that it's a production version if i go to button.gsx for example and let's say i put something here you see that no matter how i refresh we don't get to see something but if i come here and i run npm run dev which is the development version and I come here you can see we have something here in this button so we don't get that something here because we would have to run npm run build again npm run build takes all your code and turns it into a production version now let's go in here to see what the production version looks like so if I go to dist you can see we have assets this assets directory contains all your JavaScript and CSS assets so if I come to this CSS here it puts everything on one line but if I spread it to multiple lines by formatting, you can see all our CSS that we have used so far is here. We have this generated CSS for our card. Also for the card price, if we keep going down, we have this CSS for the container, this BG grain. All of this CSS that we have used so far, which we have in button.module.css, which we also have in appmodule.css, pricingcardmodule.css, dumped into this one CSS file. And if you go to the JavaScript, this is all also the JavaScript necessary for the production version and this can actually be harder to read so if I zoom out a bit you see a bunch of things which just don't make sense so there's a lot of things that happens internally when you try to build the production version of your application and that is why when you are building your application you actually use the development code because the development code makes much sense to read this production code is just what you're going to use for hosting so that's it for the assets directly you also have the icons directory where we have our check icon you have the images directory where we have our images you have index.html if you look at index.html here you can see that the style sheet link goes to assets slash this index whatever and this is the style sheet that we have here also for the javascript part here we have script and then we have assets slash this javascript file which is this assets that we have here so during the build all of that is set and configured for us so that's it for the index.html so everything on this dist is what you want to host and that's what your users would see now coming to the topic of hosting how can you host your react applications well you can either choose to first run npm run build then when you get this dist you can copy this dist folder and paste it on any hosting providers that you have there and everything will work fine but the challenge here is that you always have to run npm run build before you copy and paste this here but you have several other solutions that makes things even easier for you two of the most popular hosting solutions you will hear today is netlify and you would also hear vaso and you have many more in this video i'm going to show you how to use netlify but the same concept also applies with the several other hosting providers 
So here I go to app.netlify.com and you have to create an account if you haven't yet. Then here I can log in with GitHub and since I'm already logged in on GitHub, this is going to open my Netlify account. You can see I use Netlify a lot. If I go to my domains, you can see I'm using Netlify to handle all of my websites, including the simple react.js.com, which is the website for this course. So what I want to do here now is to host this application. But before I can host this application, this has to leave on a repository and I already have it living on a repository. So this is the repository for everything that we have here so far. So everything I have here for development is already living on this repository. By the way, I'm currently working on a Git course where I'll be simplifying how Git works, GitHub and how to use all these things. I'm going to share a link to the course below if you're interested in learning more about Git. So now that I have this here on this repository, I can go to Netlify now. Hosting your applications on Netlify is very easy so i can come here and i can say add new site and i'm going to add from an existing project it's going to ask me where do i want to deploy my projects from but since i'm using github i'm going to say deploy with github when i do this it authorizes and then i can search for my repo which is react course now this is the repo then i can click on it then it's going to ask me a couple of questions from what branch do i want to deploy i want to deploy from the main branch which is the default you can see the build command here is npm run build i can change this if it is not npm run build but netlify already figured out that it is npm run build and this is the published directory dist so you can see that what netlify is actually doing here is that netlify would help me to run npm run build and since that is going to generate this dist directory then netlify is going to host this dist directory in some cases npm run build might generate a public directory so that is what you would want to host but in our setup here with vit it generates a dist directory directory so you can see that netlify is already handling that part for us and we can simply do deploy react course now while we're deploying you can see it's currently deploying here and if we should open this and it's already done so if you go to this building you can see here it runs npm run build building for production after the building we now have the deploying and you can see starting to deploy site from dist now that our application has been deployed if i go to site configuration here you can see the url that netlify gives us Brian Crindu 1b blah 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 dot netlify dot app and this is it here if you open this link on your mobile phone you are still going to see the same thing I don't really like this name here so I can also change the site name so I'm going to change it from this to let's say react course if somebody has not used that name before if I press save somebody has already used that name so let's say decode react course yep nobody has used that name so now this website is going to live on decode react course dot netlify dot app and now you have this you can choose to use these free domains that netlify gives you or you can also come to domain management and you can add your own custom domains like decode.com reactcourse.com this would be a domain that you have to you know, register i think you can register it on netlify directly or you can use platforms like godaddy namecheap and you can do all the configurations needed so you can use custom domains or you can just stick with a domain like this if you like it so now that this is hosted on netlify I, what if I make changes to my code? Well, this is where the concept of continuous deployment comes. This is something that Netlify supports along with many other hosting providers. The idea here is that if I make any change to this code, when I push that change to this repository, immediately I push that change, another deployment is going to be triggered automatically and I can quickly show you that. Let's say for this button, before we have these children, I'm just going to put an emoji. Let me put an arrow emoji. Now, when I put this here i can commit my changes to git add arrow in button then i can push this our latest commit here is add arrow in button if i go to netlify you can see that automatically it's already triggering another deploy and because our application is not super big it has already been deployed so now if we go back to our url decode react course you can now see our arrow here and there is a lot of advanced configurations that can go into hosting your react applications depending on how complex your react application is but this lesson is a simple guide on how to host your react applications now i've looked at a lot of interesting concepts so far props css modules conditional rendering and some of that and these are like basic foundations in react moving on in this course we're going to be progressing into some advanced concepts like state management life cycle hooks and a couple of other things so i hope you're enjoying the course so far well tighten your seatbelt as we move on to even more interesting things